The issue with the plate lip around this size machine was to the size of the machine, the brake card force that was in play. And what happens is with a machine of that type of brake card force, it actually causes a lot of flex and do, uh, movement of the actual front end of attachment, causing a lot of ingrown cracking and stuff like that within that section there. So the constant maintenance and support of that actual of that pro, of that machine in that bucket was a constant development cycle that the, the, the customer was just getting very infuriated with. So every tonne of steel that we can take out of the car slip is in theory another tonne of payload that they can dig. So you could either make a, a larger bucket, so if we can start with a much lighter lip, we give them a lot more opportunities. We used our, our 3D modelling software and uh, we tried to understand an awful lot about how the original lips were causing problems in the field and ensure we had the right load cases and used FEA, which is a finite element analysis, to model up the original lip first and see if we could reproduce what was going wrong in the field. Some of the main benefits we get out of casting as opposed to using plate steel is that we can design some very complex geometry and put mass where it needs to be and remove mass where it doesn't need to be. Our very first lips performed as we'd expected, but we were also very, very pleased with how they performed. We have uh, the first few dug for around about 15 years in Western Australia, 